So you're thinking about moving to Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and you're wondering, what's it like to live here? Well, today we're gonna to talk about some of the pros and cons and some things that I get asked about helping so many people move to South Florida. Hey, I'm Rafael Gonzalez, your Treasure Coast real estate agent. And if you wanna learn about what's it like to live in our different cities and towns here, make sure you subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving anywhere in South Florida, you can give me a call, shoot me a message or schedule an appointment, and we can go through this together. The first pro that we're gonna talk about is that there are so many businesses here and coming to Palm Beach Gardens that are creating more high quality jobs and attracting talent and investment to the area. We have a strong job market and one of the industries that's seen a lot of growth over the years, especially since the pandemic, has been financial services. With the vision of being the Wall Street of the South, Palm Beach and the Gardens has been growing into a financial hub with hedge funds, Fortune 500 companies, and other corporations relocating and establishing a presence here. A lot of these companies and people are coming from California in the Northeast, New York especially because they've realized how much money they'd be saving here where we have no state income tax. And it's not just finance. There's actually a lot of job opportunities in STEM here too. We've got the Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center, the VA is close by, plenty of hospitals and private practices, and the area is actually really popular with traveling nurses. And then there's a lot of innovation going on with major players in aerospace, engineering, and technology. And let's not forget tourism, there's lots of jobs in that sector year round with everything we've got going on in Palm Beach. And I wanted to make sure I address this too. The pandemic was a huge accelerator for a lot of these businesses and jobs migrating to South Florida. So all of this is responsible for the garden's strong job market and why the area is leading the state of Florida in income growth. Number two, we've got to talk about the location. Palm Beach Gardens is located in the north part of Palm Beach County, right in the middle of Jupiter and West Palm. So let's talk about some of the highlights. You're just 10 to 15 minutes to two of some of the most beautiful beaches with Juno and Jupiter Beach. You're only 20 minutes to a major international airport in PBI, Palm Beach International. If you're gonna be working there or just looking for some things to do, you're just 30 to 35 minutes from Boca Raton and just an hour to Fort Lauderdale and an even bigger airport at FTL. And if you wanna get away for the weekend and really do something different or just show some friends and family what Florida is all about, you're an hour 15 to Miami and all the arts and attractions they have there. And about two hours north, you're gonna hit Orlando and all the different theme parks and entertainment. Number three, let's talk about some of the communities and country clubs here. Now, if you're the type of person who's against HOAs or communities, this may just be a con for you. There's only a few places in the gardens where you're gonna find no HOAs, and that's gonna be the colony near the mall, country estates out west, and along the intracoastal for the most part. What you're gonna find more of here is established communities. A lot of the time they're gated and they have their own amenities or clubs that you can join, or you may be required to. If you're moving here, be aware that some communities have mandatory memberships that you have to buy into, and some of those can be in the six figures. Now, those communities have golf courses designed by renowned architects, resort social clubs, the whole nine yards. But before you think about buying in one of those communities, think over if you're gonna be involved in the club and if that investment is worth it to you. Some communities that you should consider in this case may be Ballin Isles, Mirasol, Frenchman's, Old Palm, or PGA National. Or if you prefer something newer or just wanna get away from those mandatory memberships, they have those communities too. We've got a few that are finished up like Bay Hill and Paloma, and some that are still building out like Alton and Artistry, which are really walkable and closer to the more developed part of Palm Beach Gardens. And then out west, we've got Avenir, which is a beautiful master plan community. It's still really early on in building everything out. But either way, if you're looking for a home in the gardens or somewhere else in Palm Beach, I'm happy to help and work with you on that. Number four, let's talk about the affordability in Palm Beach Gardens, more specifically how that relates to housing. For most, this is probably gonna be the biggest con, and that's the fact that Palm Beach Gardens has some of the most expensive housing prices in Palm Beach County outside of the island, Boca, and Jupiter. Now, if you're coming from a higher cost of living area like the Northeast, the West Coast, or even further down in South Florida, it may not be too much of a sticker shock considering what the homes and communities offer, but a lot of people are gonna be priced out since it's definitely a more affluent area. 
However, there are some condos, townhomes, and even older detached homes that are available at a more affordable price. But new or newer homes, especially the further east you go, come at a premium. And it doesn't help that property taxes are pretty high in Palm Beach County. On top of their higher property values in the gardens, builders are saying to estimate between 1.6 to 1.7% of the market value of your home as your yearly property tax before exemptions. But please remember, wherever you end up moving to, property taxes change upon change of ownership and past taxes are not a reliable projection for future taxes. So if you have more questions about property taxes and the different exemptions available to you, make sure to call the property appraiser's office. Number five, Palm Beach Gardens and really the county in general has some great schools and programs. If you have school-aged children, you'll be happy to see the quality of the public, charter, and private and faith-based schools from K through 12. Palm Beach County School District is ranked among the best school districts in the state and in the nation and was rated an A by the Florida Department of Education for eight years in a row. And they have a lot of sports programs, IB, AP classes you can take, and even some certificate programs. Another big perk about living in Palm Beach Gardens is number six, you have access to so many different places for shopping and restaurants close by. We've got high-end department stores to boutique shopping, art districts, and both downtown and Main Street shopping. The largest of which is the Gardens Mall, which is two stories and enclosed and is known for destination shopping. The Gardens Mall is home to luxury brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Saks Fifth Avenue, and over 140 other specialty shops. And close by, you'll find Downtown at the Gardens, which is a massive open air marketplace that overlooks the lake. And they're redeveloping the area right now, but here's where you're gonna find the theater, Whole Foods, Grimaldi's, and the Cheesecake Factory. There's a few other districts like the Alton Town Center, which is a new development with some different retailers and restaurants. You've got Midtown that's home to the Fresh Market, Texas to Brazil, and Christopher's Kitchen, which is a local plant-based restaurant. And the last one I want to mention is PGA Commons. It's more of an art and dining district, and it's really unique. So if you're in the area and wanna grab a coffee or a drink, make sure you check that one out. Probably what Palm Beach Gardens is most known for is number seven, the golf. Most notably, we're the hometown of PGA's headquarters, but golfers nationwide come here to play some of the best courses in the country. And while there are a lot of private courses that require a membership like what we talked about earlier, there are plenty of public courses to tee off at. You've got, of course, PGA National and their renowned courses like the Champion, the Palmer, and the Fazio. And probably one of the most affordable and popular training facilities is the Sand Hill Crane Golf Club. But if you're looking for something more exclusive, maybe one of the country clubs may be more your speed. So that leads us to a con, which is number eight, the traffic. Because of all the shopping and dining and things to do here in the center of town, you're gonna notice some traffic, especially on the weekends and in the evenings. Now, if you're coming from a busy city like New York or LA, or even another Florida city like Orlando or Miami, it's nowhere near as congested. But just keep in mind, especially if you plan on commuting, Palm Beach Gardens is at the north end of the Miami Metro. So the further south you go, the worse traffic is gonna get. Other than that, during tournaments, try to stay away from PGA Boulevard. And one area that I'm expecting to get more traffic in the future will be North Lake Boulevard, and that's because of all the development going out west in Avenir and Westlake makes it look like there might be a bottleneck. Number nine, you can't talk about what's it like to live in Florida without bringing up the weather. I get people who call me all the time saying they're moving to Palm Beach or they're moving to Florida just because of the weather. They're coming up from the north and they're telling me this is gonna be their last winter up there before they make their way down to sunny South Florida. But before you fall in love with our winters, just stay for a summer. Everyone knows it's warm in Florida, but it's not just the heat, it's the humidity. It's very humid and it'll rain a lot during summer. And if you're caught driving in the thick of it, your visibility is gonna be reduced to where you can barely see the car in front of you. And of course, we can't talk about weather in Florida without bringing up the elephant in the room, hurricanes. Hurricane season starts in June and technically doesn't end until November. And if you're going to be sticking around through a hurricane or two, make sure you stock up early for emergency supplies. And remember to have your shutters up or impact windows checked for complete coverage. I had an inspection come back recently for an out-of-state client where the patio slider had a broken seal and was compromised. And there's delays on getting that kind of glass ordered to replace it. So just be aware and remember to check for things like that. And finally, number 10, Palm Beach Gardens appeals to people from all over because there are so many things you can do here. 
whatever you like to do, you can find a community or something you or the family enjoys and plug into it here. If you're like my wife, there's plenty of retail therapy that you can enjoy. Or if you're more like me, there's a lot of restaurants that cook different cuisines from different cultures. And if you prefer to spend your time outdoors, you can find things like biking and walking trails, sports parks, golf of course, there's pickleball and tennis, and even equestrian centers out west. Not to mention everything you can do in the water. We've got canals, lakes, the river, the ocean, perfect for boating and water sports. And like I mentioned earlier, we're really close to some of the best beaches in Palm Beach County. There's also plenty of family fun things to do just a short drive away. We've got a movie theater, some amazing water parks, museums, and zoos. There's also entertainment centers where you can find fun things to do like trampoline and extreme air parks, laser tag, bowling, arcades, paintball, and more. And as far as events go, there's so much happening in downtown, the Gardens Mall, and the Alton Town Center, from live music, fairs, and concerts, to a lot of different family-friendly and holiday events. And we've got plenty of sports events going on too, with tennis and pickleball and the Honda Classic at PGA National. I'm telling you, there's a lot of things to do here in Palm Beach Gardens. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I'm a local real estate agent here who shoots tons of videos like this and about neighborhoods and new construction here. So make sure you subscribe. I'd love to see your comments down below. I know I'm gonna get all different types of comments, but that's fine. I'll be watching and replying to as many as I possibly can. And if you're thinking about relocating here, give me a call, shoot me a message or schedule an appointment, and I would be more than happy to help you.